Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk about a paper from last year's Symposium on Dynamic Languages that takes a look at how people have been using Python 3 type annotation. Now of course Python is a dynamically typed language where all type checking is done at runtime. However, a few years ago they introduced PEP 484 which is the proposal for optional type hints. This lets programmers specify type annotations on variables, on method arguments and method return types and so on. However, while that proposal specifies the syntax, it leaves the semantics of type checking, the type system itself and how exactly it's checked, it leaves that largely unspecified. In the wake of that, we've had a number of type checking tools, but the two that have really stuck and found widespread adoption are MyPy and PyType. So what this paper does is look at a number of GitHub Python repositories out in the wild that have type annotations and try to study how they use Python 3 type annotations and how they use MyPy and PyType. MyPy and PyType take very different approaches to type checking. We'll see some examples later on, but in general, PyType is less strict than MyPy and tends to delay error reporting, whereas MyPy usually reports errors much earlier. The other big difference is that MyPy does intra-procedural analysis while PyType also does some inter-procedural analysis. One interesting difference in the way MyPy and PyType operate is in how they type literal lists. PyType ends up creating a union type of the various types within the list, whereas MyPy tries to find the least common ancestor in the subtype tree. To make this concrete, if you have a list literal that has an integer and a string, PyType will end up typing this as a list of the union type of int and string, but MyPy will end up typing it as a list of object which is the least common ancestor of int and string in the type hierarchy. Another interesting example is this definition over here. This fails to check in MyPy but is type correct in PyType. PyType is more lenient because the final return type of Z matches the return type of F. The return type of F is unspecified, so that's any. However, within MyPy, the type checking is more strict because Z is declared to be of type int, but then is assigned a string. So you can see how MyPy is in general stricter than PyType and tends to prefer pointing out errors earlier. Okay, so let's look at what they found in Python code that was typed out in the wild. They looked at about 70,000 Python repositories from GitHub. Of those, only a small number, about 2,600, had some Python 3 style type annotation. And even within those type repositories, we see that about 80% of the files do not have any type annotations at all. And then 5% have fewer than 11 annotations. And only about half a percent have more than 40 annotations. So we see that the usage of type annotations is in general pretty slim. If you look at what kind of type annotations programmers use most frequently, we find that the basic type string, int, and bool are the most common ones, along with the built-in collection types for lists and dictionaries and tuples. Optional is also a very common type annotation. We find that parameters are the most common place where type annotations are used. Now we come to the big question, which is, are typed repositories actually type correct? And what the authors found is that only about 15%, which is about 300 of the 2600 type repositories are type correct in MyPy and the rest produce some number of typed errors. So why are so few type repositories type correct? What value are they getting 
from all these type annotations if they're not even type correct. One hypothesis is that MyPy is so conservative that it produces too many false positive warnings and developers feel like those warnings are not really going to result in any errors and they do not spend time fixing them. But then why do they put in those type annotations? The hypothesis there is that developers still see some value in using those type annotations as documentation. The authors manually examined some of the error reports and they found that MyPy had about a 49% false positive rate compared to PyType's 44%. And in terms of the true positives, they found that MyPy would catch about 28% of likely runtime errors, whereas PyType would catch about 42%. As the authors found out, the false positive rates for MyPy and PyType are not that much different. And what is likely happening is that MyPy is catching those errors earlier than PyType. So what the authors conclude from all this analysis is that MyPy and PyType being the two most common type checking tools for Python are essentially two very different type systems. Now, this is a bit of a surprising situation for a major programming language to have two different type systems in prevalent use. The authors find that MyPy is more like a traditional type system, whereas PyType is more like a static analysis or a linter kind of a tool. Both of these tools report different errors and they also differ in when and where those errors get detected in the code. Eventually, the Python community needs a more convergent type checking solution. So that was a quick look at a paper that examines how Python's optional type hint syntax is used out in the wild and what the authors basically found that the two prevalent tools, MyPy and PyType, encode two very different type systems. They also found that the use of type hints is not very prevalent and even within repositories that do use type hints, the vast majority of them do not type check. So all in all, Python's situation with type checking seems to be very much at the beginning of the journey with a lot of work still left to do. They close with an amusing twist on a quote from Dickens, which was, it was the best of types, it was the worst of types. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.